Morning, friends. It's about 5.30 on Thursday morning. Yeah. A dog. I'm sitting here with my one point cup of coffee. And the babies are... In Napa Bowl. What are you guys doing? Her Play-Doh. <laughs> we made Play-Doh yesterday, so they are playing Play-Doh. I am... Just getting started with my water. It's been a long few days here with some sick babies. So, I'm going to have my coffee and my water. And I'll see you guys back here at breakfast. Bye guys. This is my dog. Morning friends. Happy Thursday. So, I'm still working on my one point cup. Uh, zero points. Zero point cup of coffee. And I'm now on my second cup of water. Hi. Why don't you sit up here? Um, I'm getting ready to cook breakfast, but before I did, I wanted to have a little chat with you. Um, I am changing things up once again, ever changing and evolving. Um, I really love Simply Filling, and I am sticking with that because it is really working for me. Um, I had to pay the pop. Okay, sorry about that. So, Simply Filling is working beautifully. Um, I've been doing lots of research, and I have joined two or three different groups here on Facebook, um, kind of trying to get other people's perspectives because there's just so little information out there to actually find that, you know, there are lots of people who substitute things and who make things okay and I'm just having a really hard time. The tracker is awful. The list is very vague. Um, so it's like, how do you combine the two? And I've decided, per talking to people who are on the plan, that one day a week, maybe two if I feel up to it, but one, at least one day a week, I'm going to switch back to counting points. Um, the only thing I have found with Simply Filling especially only having 28 weeklies to play with, is that for anything indulgent, pizza with my family, um, anything that isn't super, super, super lean meat, anything that is processed at all, costs a ton of points, which I wouldn't do more than once a week anyways. But if I do it once a week, I don't have any wiggle room to play with. It seems like all of my points are just gone. So one day a week, like I did it yesterday for the first time, I knew we were having something um, higher in points. My husband wanted ribs. We used sugar-free barbecue sauce, but the ribs themselves are like 10 or 15 points for, you know, three or four ribs, which is fine every once in a while. But if I, you know, my supper last night was 14 points, that's half of my weekly points right there, just gone in one day. So, I'm going to just switch one day and only stick to my 30 points, but use that day to have anything indulgent I want. I know lots of people who switch back and forth every other day or whatever. I don't want to do that. I want to commit to simply filling, but I'm going to give myself one day towards the beginning of the week to just switch back and eat on smart points. That being said, I am also going to take a bit of a reprieve from the VB6. I am finding myself feeling very restricted as of late. I am still going to kind of limit my dairy intake, but I need to focus one thing at a time. And as much as I love eating plant-based, it doesn't mean that I can't eat more plant-based meals while on simply filling but trying to do the two together has been really tough and i'm feeling very very deprived and uh, it's been about four days and i'm feeling i feel better today spending yesterday eating on smart points and kind of resetting and being able to eat something that maybe was a little naughty i only used 22 smart points yesterday so i didn't even use all 30 of my daily points, but I feel 
rejuvenated this morning, but before yesterday, I have been feeling this buildup of a binge coming on, and I didn't want to do that. So I'm trying really hard to just kind of figure out what works and what doesn't and where I feel comfortable and where I feel satisfied and satiated and what's going to work long term because, I mean, as you guys know, I am so, so close to goal that I need to find something that has some longevity to it. I need to find something that I can maintain for a long time. So while I am not going to be overindulging in a lot of dairy, I really missed yogurt. And I really missed chicken. I, I The biggest thing I really missed, and I'm going to have it for breakfast this morning, is eggs. I really missed eggs. So for now, I'm going to focus more on Simply Filling, which is more clean, whole, healthy foods instead of trying to do that and deprive myself of two of the major food groups. So, that being said, I am working on breakfast. As you just saw, I had to go stir. I am making a sweet potato and regular potato hash. We had uh, just sauteed sweet potatoes and regular white potatoes and onions and peppers and garlic last night for supper. So I am just frying those up in the pan, making them a little crispy, and then I'm just going to throw an egg on the top and maybe a little bit of salsa. Sounds good to me. So I will be back when I have breakfast, but I hope everybody's week is going fantastic. I'm having a really good week. I got a three-mile walk-in outside yesterday. It was almost 50 degrees here yesterday, which I know it was like 47. For most places, that's really cold, but... This weekend, Sunday, was 11 below zero here. So it's like a 60 degree temperature increase. It's a heat wave. So I actually put my sneakers on, I got outside, I got a three and a half mile walk in yesterday. It was fantastic. So feeling really good. And I'll chat some more when breakfast is ready. Alright guys, so here it is. I have an apple with some cinnamon on it, and then I have the potato and pepper and onion hash, a fried egg, and a little bit of salsa. All simply filling. So I'm going to go eat, and I will check in with you guys later. Hi friends, so I've been sitting here doing some YouTube stuff and some tracking stuff in my planner, and... I popped a bag of the 94% fat-free popcorn for Grayson, and I've been sitting here eating it, and it's half gone. I mean, he had a big bowl of it too, but now I'm not hungry. It's about 1.30. I'm not hungry, and I don't want to eat lunch, but I feel like I should have something other than popcorn in my stomach. I think this is my fourth tumbler of water so I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do I bought a big bag of Cortland apples so I might just cut an apple up and have that um, not really hungry I mean I maybe ate maybe two cups of popcorn I didn't eat the whole bag or anything but I'm just not hungry now so the kids have decided they want pizza for supper so I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I may still make the chicken, meat, the turkey meatballs for me and my husband, and they can eat leftovers tomorrow night. Um, I haven't really decided. I found some corn pasta spaghetti, so I think I'll probably have that if I have the meatballs. I'm thinking about making them right now. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the plan right now. I think I'm going to cut this up and eat this for right now. So I'll catch, it, catch up with you guys in a little while. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so, so it is 2.30. I'm working on supper, and as I'm working on I'm getting ready to make a homemade meat uh, spaghetti sauce, <clears throat> I'm not really hungry, but I'm... 
feeling that way. Of course, all I really ate this afternoon was popcorn. So I have here one and a half ounces of the rotisserie seasoned chicken breast from Oscar Mayer. Uh, up to one and three quarters of an ounce is zero smart points. So I'm just having one and a half ounces because that's all that was left. And then just half of an apple and a couple slices of pepper. I also made myself another cup of coffee. It is just one tablespoon of the sugar-free peppermint mocha and a little almond milk. Because I ran, um, I don't have any of the creamy cashew left. And I don't like that almond milk, but it's what I had. So I'm going to go eat this little snack while I'm working on dinner. I made meatballs. I will link the recipe below. They're completely simply filling. I used quinoa and ground turkey. 99% fat-free ground turkey. And then there's, of course, the quinoa we cooked the other day, and it had onions and peppers and garlic and spinach and carrots, I think, in it. The recipe didn't actually call for all those vegetables, but it was already cooked into the um, quinoa. And then I added basil and some more spinach. They smell good. So here's hoping. <laughs> I will see you guys in a bit. Bye. Hi friends. So it is supper time and I'm super proud of this meal. So I have a big salad here. It's lettuce, cucumbers, peppers, onions. I'm going to use fat-free Catalina tonight. And then in my bowl here, I'll show you. I have about three ounces of corn pasta, a meat, <coughs> a vegetable tomato sauce that I made basically from scratch. I took onions, peppers, mushrooms, garlic, zucchini, fresh basil, and spinach, and all, I sauteed those down. I added two cans of no salt added um, fire roasted diced tomatoes and one can of no salt added tomato sauce not like a pasta sauce but just tomato sauce so all of the ingredients in the sauce would have been zero smart points anyways i cooked them all up i let it simmer for about 45 minutes on my stove i added one packet of the truvia it was a little bitter salt pepper garlic and onion powder and then i used my immersion blender and blended it all together and then the meatballs, I will link the recipe below. These are the, I used 99% fat-free ground turkey and the cooked quinoa that I had from the other day. There's one egg, some basil, spinach, uh, some more fresh onion and garlic. And I made meatballs. They were a little wet, which I'm not really sure... The recipe didn't call for any kind of binder other than the quinoa, but of course the quinoa was already cooked. So I used maybe a tablespoon of cornmeal, which is simply filling. So the meatballs are all simply filling. And then there is a little teeny sprinkle of fat-free mozzarella on the top. So this whole dinner is simply filling. I am super excited. This is a lot of food. But, like I said, I'm trying to stick with good portion sizes. I used a big pasta bowl, but I spread the pasta all out over the bottom. So it's just a thin little layer of pasta all the way around the bottom. Um, so I don't have, you know, like two or three cups of cooked pasta or anything here because I can. Um, it's less than a cup of cooked pasta. I just spread it out and then I put the meat sauce and the meatballs on top. And I got, out of one pound of meat, I used one pound of ground turkey and two-thirds or three-quarters of a cup of the cooked quinoa. Those are the only two things and one egg. 
that cost really any smart points. I got six four meatball servings out of that. So you're not looking at very high points for meatballs anyways. So I'm going to go eat and I will see you guys later. Bye. Hi guys. So it's 8.15 and I totally forgot to come back and check in on you guys. So I'm going to close out the vlog for tonight. I had an excellent day. Um, I am still about 400 steps shy of my 12,000 steps. So I need to get some walking done uh, while I'm standing here trying to catch up on YouTube. Um, but I will say this, every day for the past two weeks, since Step Into Tracking began, I have hit at least 11,000 step goal. Last week my, my goal was 11,000. This week is 12,000. I'm trying to decide if I want to go for 13,000 next week. Or keep it at 12. Um, 11 wasn't so challenging, but 12 has been um, a little more challenging this week, especially with a sick boy I've had. Um, my son has been home for the last two days with a 103 fever, and he's been vomiting and sick, and I'm praying to the mama gods that he did not pass it to any of the rest of us. Um... So it's been a lot of cuddling and a lot of really, not last night, but the night before. He was up at midnight, and then he was up at 2.30, and then at 3.45, we all got out of bed. Yesterday was a very long day. So I'm really proud, and I don't think, I think if it wasn't for Step Into Tracking the New Year, I probably would have just taken what I got and been okay with it because life was stressful and I had excuses but I haven't I have pushed myself I have gotten my steps every day on top of I mean of course the activity that I'm doing is included in the steps however I'm getting at least a mile every day so I feel really good about this last week and the last two weeks in fact so today I actually used zero weeklies. Um, to recap, I had the sweet potato, sweet and white potato hash with an egg and an apple for breakfast and coffee. For lunch I had popcorn. And then I had some turkey, peppers, and an apple as like my second lunch. Um, and then for supper I had the spaghetti and meatballs with the salad. Um, everything I ate today was simply filling, so I did really, really good, and I feel really good about that. Um, maybe I didn't always make the best choices today. Well, I guess I did, with the exception of the popcorn. But the popcorn wasn't bad for me, I just shouldn't have eaten it for lunch. But it was a little snack because I was hungry, and by the time I ate that and I had a big glass of water, I wasn't hungry anymore. And the one thing that Simply Filling is teaching me, if nothing else, is to listen to my body. I have read a lot of message boards and the groups on, I'm in on Facebook, and people talking about the biggest difference that they find on Smart Points. Because when you see this huge list... Of all of these foods you can eat and every preconceived notion I've ever had of simply filling was I couldn't do it I would eat all day long every day because that's basically what it says eat as much as you want of these foods until full if you eat a meal and you're not hungry have something else if you eat again and you're not hungry have something else and my thought process behind that before I actually did it was I'd never stop and I find that I'm very conscious of the portions that I make for myself. However, different than when I was on Smart Points, I don't feel a lot of the time like I need a snack, but if I want to have a snack, I don't have to like crunch numbers in my head and make sure that I have enough points to have a snack and last me the rest of the day. 
but I also don't have to worry about eating if I'm not hungry. I think a lot of us in the Smart Points community, or even when it was Points Plus, you do everything you can to eat every single last point every single day. You're like, oh, I have five points left. I have to have a snack. Even if you don't want to, your brain is telling you, okay, you need to get every bite you possibly can. So eat that last snack because you have six points left over or you have four points left over and I'm not fighting against the daily totals anymore so I feel really good I feel empowered I feel empowered to make my own choices and do that in a healthy way I've always been in a pretty healthy eater but I never knew healthy portion sizes I never knew when to stop, so it's taken a lot of self-growth to get to this point where I could have just three quarters of a cup of pasta for supper. I didn't even finish my pasta. I didn't even finish my salad. I still had maybe, maybe a quarter of the pasta and the sauce. I ate all the meatballs because they were delicious. I highly recommend trying them. Um, and I ate most of my salad, but by the time I got about three quarters of the way done, everything, I was full. I said, you know what? I have eaten. I am full. I'm going to stop. And I haven't wanted anything else tonight. I have had another uh, cup of water, and then I allowed myself to have um, a tumbler of diet ginger ale. So I just feel good. I feel empowered with the fact that I'm able to make choices that are healthy for my body and I think that that is going to help me carry through to the future so today was a good day <laughs> I set my planner up for next week so I am all ready to roll there I have tracked everything this week I did get I did not get to get out um, before my husband got Ready to leave for work. Sorry. So I did do the happy mile today. Like I said, I am almost at my steps, so I need to go so I can finish that up. But I wanted to get this video up for you. Zero weeklies today. So, so far this week, Monday I used four weeklies. Tuesday I used three weeklies, so that's seven out of 28. So I have 21 weeklies left. Yesterday I tracked points. I used 22 out of my 30 points for the day, and today I used zero weeklies. So going into tomorrow, which is Friday, I have 21 weeklies left to last me Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I'm feeling really good about that. I'm trying to decide what I want to do tomorrow. Um, we are going to a play group with some friends so that my kids and my friends kids can play and I was thinking about getting Subway on my way home I've never had a Subway salad they make salads yes <laughs> I've never had a salad I always get a the wrap so I may still do that um, I can't remember The spinach wrap from Cedars, which is the the wrap that at least our local Subway uses, I always get the spinach, is five points. I get one point worth of hummus put inside. They do the red pepper hummus, and I only have them do one little smear right in the middle just to kind of glue everything together. So I count that as one point. So it's only six points for a whole vet, because I would just do veggie. Um, I don't need all of the other stuff. I That's all I ever do is just a veggie wrap. Sorry. So I'm trying to decide if I want to use six of my weeklies 
tomorrow and have Subway for lunch because I know if I get Subway I'm going to want to get chips which puts me up to 10. I don't know if I want to do chips and waste 10 points on a little bag of chips. So I may just get the wrap and bring it home. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. That's my kind of my plan for lunch because I guess I, I mean I could always come home and eat lunch. I just thought it would be nice to get something on the way home. Um, we don't. I was gonna suggest to her that we go out to eat after we go to playgroup, but there's really there's only one place other than Subway in our town. Well, we have an Asian restaurant and a pizza place, and if they want to go to pizza, I will just have salad, which is fine. Um, but if not, I may just come home. I have one portion of the corn pasta left that I can eat, um, for lunch, or I have some grilled chicken in there. I could have a salad. So I have plenty of options. I'm just trying to weigh them all out. So anyways, that's for tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. Have a good morning tomorrow. And I will see you later. Bye guys.